Hi, I'm Mark Singer from XL4. It's January of 2018, and we are at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, Nevada. We're inviting you in to the XL4 Exhibition and Demonstration Suites to take a look at our Smart Mobility Network demonstrations. Let's go inside. This is a demonstration that we have developed with Hella Corporation, a well-known and highly regarded name in the automotive industry. Here we're showing eSync compliance in a variety of Hella products. Let's take a look at the various components in the demonstration, see how they're working, and perhaps draw some diagnostic data from them and send some over-the-air updates to them. We have on the demo platform a trailer module, a body control module for the rear of the car, and a body control module for the front of the car. These are production, current production modules, ECUs produced by Hella and in production with a variety of automotive OEMs. The operating system on these devices is AutoSAR 3.2. Here we see our eSync web-based application, and I'm going to take a look at these modules in the demonstration and see the data that I'm pulling from them to the cloud. I'm going to open up the diagnostics, and I'm going to look at the body domain, and I can find my body control front, my body control rear, and my trailer module with data available. Let's open up the hardware on the body control front module. Here I'm gathering data on the bus performance, the bus protocols. We have UDS as a protocol, and I'm able to observe the protocol errors. We have a CAN bus interface to this device. I can see here one CAN bus error. It appears to have been several days ago. And in addition to bus traffic, I can also observe some very real-time operational data from these devices. Here you can see the current voltage reading. We can see the maximum voltage, the mean, and the minimum voltage. Here we're looking at two different power supplies for this body control module. The body control front module has two input powers, and we're looking at testing to see that these are within parameters. We see that both are passing. They are both in parameter. But when I look at the power supply 2, I see that there has been some portion of time in the window we're looking at where this has been in a failed state. This gives me some indication of an intermittent problem in the power supply for the body control module. Now, how did I have this condition? Well, the truth is that the automotive market is a somewhat rugged environment, and sometimes connectors fail. I've now disconnected the power from power supply 2. Let's go back and take a look at the chart. Now we can see that this device has failed its test of whether the power supply 2 is within parameters. I'll go back and plug our power supply back in, and within a period of time of just seconds, when I check the status again, I see that this device has passed. I have real-time av data available to me in the cloud, and I can gather this sort of data on many different devices. Now we're looking at the trailer module, and the trailer module in this case is monitoring and reporting to me the portion of time in which this vehicle is actually towing a trailer, in which a trailer is connected. I'm going to disconnect the trailer module, and when I come back, I can see that the trailer shows a drop from the connected status to the disconnected status, and it gives me the precise time in which that information became available to the server. I'll go back and reconnect the trailer, and we'll see that the trailer is showing as reconnected on the server, and so we're keeping a good track of the accumulation of time. Now, for perhaps the most interesting portion of this demonstration, we're going to do an over-the-air update and add a feature on demand to the Hella Intelligent Headlight. First, let's learn a little bit about the Hella Intelligent Headlight. It has some extremely practical applications. It's a very innovative product. Let's take a look now. Hella's technology is intelligent light. It connects inside and out, the driver with the environment. This 
is truly interconnected mobility. It improves communication without a single word. It provides guidance in challenging situations going beyond simply lighting the way. It enhances the driver's vision without impairing others for increased safety. We are at the dawn of a new era in digital lighting. Now we're going to do an over-the-air update to the Hella Intelligent headlight, and I'm going to add features on demand. In this case, we're going to add features that are not quite so practical, but perhaps more whimsical. Let's put a little bit of fun in and see if we can excite our customer base and help retain high degrees of brand satisfaction and brand loyalty. So we're setting up the over-the-air campaign. We have now deployed the eSync OTA campaign. We can see in the server the progress of the campaign. We have now successfully downloaded and installed new software to the Hella Smart Headlight. I now have features available that I can initiate from the server to drive the Hella headlight in some whimsical fashion to delight my customers. This allows a continuing engagement with the automotive customer even after they've bought the car and taken it off the lot. Thank you for joining us for our OTA eSync demonstrations with Hella eSync compliant products. If you'd like more information on XL4 and the eSync product family that we offer, I invite you to join us at www.xl4.com. If you'd like more information on eSync compliance, I would invite you to check out the eSync Alliance at www.esyncalliance.org.